and in this video we are going to see about the polarization in dielectrics it occurs in both polar as well as non-polar molecules here we are going to differentiate what is polar molecules what is non-polar molecules so in this one i have mentioned very clearly what is polar molecules in the sense the center of positive and negative charges does not coincidence and Whereas in non-polar molecules, the center of positive charge and negative charge does coincidence, definitely coincidence, that is called non-polar molecules. In polar molecules, it has unsymmetrical shape it has, whereas in, in non-polar molecule, it has symmetrical shape. And it has a permanent dipole moment in polar molecules, whereas in non-polar molecules, it has no permanent dipole moment due to symmetrical shape. And very good example for polar molecules, we have HCl, H2O, that is hydrochloric acid and water. And we have very good example for non-polar molecules is hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So from this example, we can go and uh, explain this one. So here we have hydrogen and carbon dioxide here we have the center of uh, positive charges and negative charges does coincidence in these two cases whereas in HCl and H2O the center of positive charge and negative charge does not coincidence that's why we are saying these type of molecules are belongs to polar molecules and these type of molecules will belongs to non-polar molecules okay now we are moving to suppose if a polar molecules is present in in the absence of sorry in the absence of electric field how they are arranged see look at in the diagrams see the polar molecules are aligned in the random manner when in the absence of electric field suppose if you are applied the electric field okay here we are applying the electric field in that what will happen in the sense all the positive charges are getting displaced or get di oh, sorry it displaced in the direction of applied electric field. Suppose if you are applying the electric field in that direction, the sense the positive charges also will align the same direction. Whereas these negative charges will align in the opposite direction of the applied electric field. So when it's going to be when it's going to be stopped in the sense when this applied electric field is equal to the restoring force. What is restoring force in the sense due to this dipole moment it creates the in, uh, it creates the restoring force that restoring force is equal to the applied electric field that time it, displacement is going to be stop okay and when coming back to non-polar molecules here we have in the absence of uh, electric field applied electric field see that they are aligned in that in that manner so if you are applying the electric field what will happen in the sense see they are aligned in the the positive charges are aligned in the past in the applied field direction whereas the negative charges align in the opposite to the applied field direction and in the absence of electric field look at that all the diagrams which are aligned positive and negative charges which is due to thermal agitation so due to the thermal agitation we can say that these are non-polar molecules are aligned as like in that given diagrams and this polarization is mainly depends upon two factors what are the two factors in the sense the polarization is mainly depends upon the potential energy of the dipole in the external field which tends to align the dipole with the field this is one of the important point because this polarization is mainly depends upon the potential energy of the dipole when in the external field and the second point the thermal energy of agitation which tends to randomize the element of the dipole so these two points are important because the polarization mainly depends upon these two points thank you